Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika. So in this session, we are going to learn about respiratory system CPT coding guidelines. So I have took five MCQ questions and I'm going to explain each of them. So please do watch video till end. And if you find it informative or useful, please do subscribe to my channel and please do share with your medical coding friends. So our first question, Physician performs a core needle biopsy of the lung with CT guidance. Which of the following is correct answer? So please be aware. So the physician performing core needle biopsy with any image guidance, okay, whether it is CT guidance or ultrasound or fluoroscopy or maybe MRI, no matter how many imaging modalities are used, you don't report guidance code separately. Okay, you don't have to report CT guidance in this scenario. You just have to code a unique CPT code 32408 alone, which is already include the guidance information. Okay, so that you just code option B report 32408 only because imaging guidance is included with the CPT code. Okay, option B is correct. So next. A patient undergoes two separate core needle biopsies of the lung with image guidance on a different lesion on the same session. How should this be coded? So, physician is performing two separate core needle biopsy of the lung with image guidance. Okay, again, you already know that core needle biopsy and the image guidance is included, but here they are performing two separate core needle biopsies. Okay, for this reason, you have to code your uh, like 32408 CPT code. You have to code it twice. Okay, and for the second line item, you have to append modifier 59. Okay, so option D is correct. Since they are performing two separate lesions, you have to code 32408. 32408 once again with 59 modifier. Okay, so for this question, option D is correct. So, next, third question fine needle aspiration and core needle biopsy of the same lung lesion are performed in the same session using same imaging guidance. How should this be reported? So, here two different types of procedure they are performing one is FNA and one is core needle biopsy so as you all know FNA is like utilizing a fine needle they'll perform the procedure when it comes to core needle biopsy here they will use the large needle okay bore needle they'll use so they are performing on the same lung lesion so what is the correct uh, you know the guideline will be applicable here you have to check so uh, the correct answer will be you have to report both the codes okay you have to report fna and core needle biopsy but you should utilize modifier 52 okay modifier 52 says reduced service since they are using same kind of you know imaging modality here you will be using 52 modifier okay so uh, in that uh, option option b is correct report both codes and append modifier 52 so because it is on the same lung lesion okay if you perform it on a two different uh, lung lesion then instead of 52 modifier you can use 59 modifier okay so next so fourth question which of the following is true about the code uh, 32701 so here you should know whenever you are coding for SRS or SBRT procedure, you should not report with a radiation treatment management code. Okay, so this 32701 what you have, this you should not report with the radiation treatment management codes. If you report, it will, it will create a duplication. Okay, why? Because these services is reported only once uh, per course of treatment. Okay, so that you should not report both SRS or SBRT along with the radiation treatment management codes. So, answer A is correct. So, next, 
A surgeon performs surgical bronchoscopy with biopsy and also documents diagnostic bronchoscopy during the same session. How should this be coded? So as we all know, so the, the diagnostic procedure will, in, like, will always be included in the surgical procedure. So same here. Here you have to report only a surgical bronchoscopy. Okay, so you just have to code report only the surgical bronchoscopy option C and diagnostic is already included with the surgical bronchoscopy procedure. Okay, you just have to report surgical bronchoscopy. So yes, these are uh, five CPT coding guidelines from respiratory system. We do have much more and uh, like uh, from yesterday, from September 10th, I've already started uh, September batch CPT classes for exam preparation if you still want to enroll to that particular batch please do uh, reach out to me on whatsapp and please do uh, write your queries so that i can see and i can respond and i can share the course detail with you so thank you all thank you for watching and next i'll come up with a cardiovascular few more cpt coding guidelines thank you all